Hey guys, so this move is called a chopper or a straddle V. I've broken this move down into five steps as it can take a little while for you to actually build up your strength. So I'm going to show you the five steps and then I'm going to break each one down for you. Okay guys, so let's start with step one. Stand side onto your pole and hold on with your inside hand around face height and your outside hand just above. Squeeze the inside arm around the pole, keep your shoulders away from your ears and keep your chest lifted. Bring one leg up and engage your core muscles. Now slowly try and bring the other leg up as you lower your first leg. So you're gonna be holding this position for a split second whilst you swap your legs. Complete at least five leg lifts on each leg. Once you start to find this easy, you can move on to step two. Okay guys, so let's break down step two. You wanna start in an exactly same position as you did for step one. Lift one leg up so the knee is bent as high as you can, and then lift the other leg. You're going to try and hold both legs up in a bent position for as long as you can. Start by holding for three seconds, then go up to five, seven, and then 10 second holds. Okay guys, so for step three, you should now be comfortable about holding yourself for at least 10 seconds in that tucked position. You're now gonna work on bringing your knees up a lot higher and then actually turning your knees out towards your shoulders so you can work towards getting either side of the pole. You want to make sure that you're practicing this move on both sides. Start by lifting for three, five, seven, and then work up to 10 lifts. Okay, so this is step four. Now you've got your lifts and you've got your knees out towards your shoulders, you wanna use your core muscles and your arms a little bit more to try and pull yourself back so that you're actually tilting back away from the pole. As you tilt back, your arms should start to straighten. When you do this, don't allow your hips to drop, keep your hips up. Keep practicing this move until your knees are way past the pole. This will also mean your hips are getting higher, which is essential to go into your chopper, which is the last stage, step five. Okay guys, so this is step five. Now you've built your strength by doing steps one to four, you're gonna be ready to do your chopper. Begin your tuck and tilt, which is step four. And as you're tilting yourself back, straighten your legs, pointing your toes towards the floor to get your hips as high as you can onto the pole. To dismount, Bend the legs back into your tuck position and pull your body up so your hands are by your face. Then lower your legs back down onto the ground. Here are some ways to avoid getting up onto the pole. You're not using any muscle engagement to get up like this, which can result in serious injury. It takes time to build your strength to get yourself upside down into these inverted moves. It's really important that you start at the beginning, start with step one and work your way up. 